Hello guys and welcome to Amulya's Academy YouTube channel. We were discussing graph deletion operation and in the previous tutorial we wrote a function for delete node operation as well as delete edge operation using adjacency matrix representation. Next let's write a function to perform this operation using adjacency list representation. Today in this tutorial we are writing a function to delete the given node from the graph using adjacency list representation. The delete node operation deletes the given node from the graph and it also deletes the edges connected to that given node. For example, if I want to delete node C here, if I call the operation delete node on the node C, the node C will be deleted from the graph as well as the edges connected to C that is this edge and this edge. We need to delete these two edges also. Now when I perform delete node operation, what changes I need to do in the adjacency list representation. Here for the adjacency list representation we are using dictionaries and in the dictionary key is representing the nodes of the graph and value is representing the list of adjacent nodes. Now when I delete node C, first step is we need to delete that key from the dictionary. So I need to delete this key and value pair. So first step is we need to delete this. Next we need to delete the connection also right the edges connected to C. That's why we need to check value of every key and here value is nothing but a list right and in that list we need to check whether the deleted node that is C is present in the list or not. If C is present then we need to remove that from the list. For example here you can see first I need to check the value of key A. This list is the value of key A. So here C is present and here we are deleting the node C. That's why I need to remove this from this list now. After completing this I need to check the next key that is B and I need to check its value and I need to check whether C is present. Here C is not present so no need to delete that from the list. Let's check the next key that is D. I need to check whether C is present in this value. Yes. Here C is present so I need to remove that from this list. Next I need to check the next key. I need to check its value whether C is present. If it is present delete that from the list. Now we want to write the function for delete node operation and while deleting the node we need to mention which node I want to delete. And while writing the function first step is we need to check whether B is present in the graph. Here V is nothing but the vertex or node which I want to delete from the graph. If it is present then only I can delete that right. That's why first condition is we need to check whether V is present. If V is not present then we'll just print a message. If V is present first we need to delete the key V from the dictionary and also its value. We need to delete the key and value pair of V the node which I want to delete. As I said in dictionary every key is presents the nodes of the graph right. If you are deleting the node V in the graph then first I need to delete that key value pair from the dictionary. Next we need to check the value of every key and we need to check whether V is present in that list. If it is present then remove that from the list. We need to follow these steps while deleting the node in the adjacency list representation. Okay, so let's write the function. Here we have our program. In this program here you can see a dictionary graph dictionary and in this program we already defined add node and add edge operation. Now here next we want to define delete node function def delete node. I'll take the function name as delete node. I'll take the parameter as v v is the node which I want to delete from the graph and next here first step is we need to check whether v is present in the graph or not. So if v not in graph here graph is a dictionary so we are checking whether v given node is present in the dictionary or not. If it is not present in the dictionary that is not in we are using not in membership operator so this condition becomes true only when v is not present in the graph then we'll print a message like this else if v is present in the graph then control will come here 
if this condition becomes true that means v is not present in the graph so we'll print this message if this condition become false that means v is present in the graph so in the else case we need to delete that node to delete the node the first step is after confirming v is present in the graph what we need to do we need to delete the key and value pair of node v in this graph if i want to delete c here i need to delete this key and value pair so to delete this key value pair from the dictionary i'll use pop method i'll call graph dictionary name pop and here i'll mention v that is delete v from the graph it will delete the key value pair right so this step is done after this what we need to do we need to check the value of all the other keys and in the values i need to check whether the node v is present in that list or not if the node v is present in the list in the value of other keys we need to remove that from the list so for that first we need to take key as a we need to check its value next we need to go to b we need to check its value we need to go to d we need to check its value we need to go to e we need to check this value so we want to perform this operation again and again that's why here i'll use a loop that is for loop and here i'll use for loop on graph for i in graph here i will represent the key of the dictionary so next here we want the value of every key so here i'll take a list list 1 and here i'll call graph of i here value of every key is a list right and we want value of every key here to check whether the deleted node is present in the list or not so for that we are using like this next what i need to do i need to check the v is present in that list or not so for that you can write like this v in list 1 if v in list 1 whether v is present in list 1 if it is present then what we need to do we need to remove that so for that list1 dot remove v i'll check if v is present in list1 using membership operator if it is present then remove that using remove method here list1 is a list right that's why i'll use remove method on that it will remove that node from the list that's it we are done here if v is not present in the list1 don't do anything that's why we are not taking else part here so now we are done here okay so let's execute this function and see whether it works properly or not and here if you see add edge function here we can see we wrote the condition for directed graph now this program is written for directed graph graph will look like this now if i delete if i delete a and if i execute this here we can see b is empty c is empty so this is for directed unweighted graph and now if i delete c here you can see c is deleted now if i delete b here you can see i'll paste this like this okay this is the graph now if i delete node here and if i delete c and here you can see c is deleted if, if i write print graph before deleting then you can see the changes okay so this is for directed unweighted graph now if i want to work this for undirected unweighted graph okay so we need to remove this you need to take v1 right right now i'll take different values okay here here i'll take few different values like this so now if i delete c and if i execute this here you can see c is deleted okay you can see the graph also right can understand this okay this method is working for unweighted directed graph and unweighted undirected graph now i want to modify this program for weighted graph then how to do that in the weighted graph we'll have value as nested list 
so when i apply for loop on this graph initially i value will be the first key and its value is this it is a nested list that's why here what we need to do is first let me make this weighted graph so here list 1 and list 2 i already explained about this how to modify this added function for uh, weighted graphs okay this is for now weighted undirected graph here what we need to do in the delete node so first we need to delete the key and value pair that's done next we need to check value of every key that's why we are using this for loop initially i'll take list one equal to something here list one is a nested list we'll get a nested list now what we need to do we can't take like this instead of this i need to take another for loop okay for j in list one and in that i need to check if v is equal to equal to j of zero so here j will become the first inner list and here you need to remove that from the list one list one remove j next here you can use a break statement that is because after deleting j from the list no need to chuck that list again right here this program work for the simple graph when there is a single edge between the nodes okay it will not work for the multiple edges that's why here we can write break statement after deleting the node from the list no need to chuck the list again this break statement terminates the innermost loop this loop now here while calling the add edge you need to give the value also cost I want to delete node C so let's see whether it works or not here sorry you need to mention the cost now we deleted C that's why here you can see C is deleted from A C is uh, deleted from B also C is deleted here and from D also okay so here you can see so in this way you can modify this function for weighted graph in the weighted graph you need to take another loop and you need to check the value like this okay and one more thing in the previous tutorial while discussing about the delete node operation in the adjacency list representation i told you if you are dealing with the undirected graph no need to check the value of every key here i won't explain about that method because you may get confused with two three methods if you are interested then you can try that i'll try to give that code in the description box so this is about the delete node operation using adjacency list representation first we need to check whether v is present in the graph if v is present in the graph then first i need to remove that key value pair then we need to check value of every key and we need to check in that list whether the deleted node is present if it is present we need to remove that so that's it for now guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will meet you in next class till then take care